this video, we are going to take a look at the PSV test. PSV stands for Polished Stone Value. The PSV test is a measure of an aggregate's resistance to polishing and is performed on particles that pass a 10mm sieve and are retained on a 7.2mm grid sieve. Stage 1 of the test is specimen preparation. In order to carry out the test, four curved specimens have to be made for each aggregate type that requires testing. This consists of embedding aggregate particles in a resin. Firstly, between 36 and 46 particles are placed in the metal mould, but only particles with flat surfaces can be used. A layer of fine sand is poured on top of the particles and then compacted with a small brush to prevent the resin, when added, from penetrating through the particles and setting on the surface of the specimen. The resin takes about half an hour to set, after which the specimen can be demoulded. After all the specimens are made, they have to be subjected to a standardised polishing procedure. The polishing takes two working days to complete and is carried out using an accelerated polishing machine. As already mentioned, for each aggregate type that is tested, four specimens are made, two of which are polished on day one of the test and the other two are polished on day two. Firstly, the specimens have to be loaded and secured onto the periphery of the road wheel. The road wheel is then inserted into the machine along with a solid rubber tyred wheel, which travels on top of the specimens during polishing. It bears down with a force of approximately 725 newtons. All specimens are polished for a total of six hours using two types of abrasive materials. Firstly, they are polished for three hours using a coarse emery grit, after which the machine is fully cleaned down before the polishing can continue for a further three hours, this time using emery flour along with a different rubber tyre. The final stage of the PSV is to test the specimens using a skid resistance tester. The tester contains a pendulum arm with a small rubber slider attached to its base. The tester is set up in a way so that when the pendulum arm is released, the slider will transverse the specimen over a contact distance of 76 plus or minus one millimeter, after which the skid resistance of the specimen can be read from the pointer's position on the outer scale. Higher the number, the better the skid resistance. All specimens are subjected to five swings, each time recording the value. The values from the first two swings are discarded and the mean is taken from the last three swings. For each aggregate type that is tested, two specimens are tested on day one of the test and the other two specimens are tested on day two. An overall mean is then calculated from the four specimens which must be corrected against the control stone before the PSV can be reported. I hope that this video provided you with an insight into the PSV test, but for more details please refer to the standard BSEN 1097 Part 8.